drowning. Item number 5794. Containment class. Safe. Level 2 restricted. Disruption class. Vlam. Risk class. Caution. Special containment procedures. SCP-5794 has been closed permanently under the pretense of public safety concerns. Security equipment has been installed to prevent unauthorized access. Testing is currently suspended indefinitely following incident 5794-P. Description. SCP-5794 SCP is the main pool of Greencliff Community Recreation Center located in Greencliff, Wisconsin. Initially opened in 1998, the pool operated normally until a series of drowning deaths occurred in 2017. Three weeks following the first death, a pool employee retrieved the first instance of SCP-5794-1, and Foundation agents embedded in local law enforcement were alerted. SCP-5794-1 instances are paper slips containing brief messages. Each message identifies the sender and a recipient, followed by varying lengths of text. All recovered SCP-5794-1 instances have listed a drowning victim of SCP-5794 as the sender and have been addressed to close friends or family members. SCP-5794-1 SCP instances are fully waterproof, but display no other anomalous properties. Following the death of, Vic Following the death of researcher Victor Cotto in re Incident 5794-A, Foundation personnel are prohibited from entering the main pool of SCP-5794 until further notice. Video Log Incident 5794-A Date, September 6, 2017. Subject, SCP-5794, Greencliff, Wisconsin. Team Lead, H. Alvarez. T team Members, M. Turner, V. Cotto, S. Sharp. Begin Log. Alvarez, Turner, Cotto and Sharp stand outside the main door to SCP-5794. The team activates their recording equipment. Everything on? Yep. No problems here. Let's roll. <coughs> all right. Are you all set too? It's all right. Yes. The team opens the door and sets up beside the pool. Anything on chemical analysis? Just water, some remaining chlorine, and trace amounts of human urine. Nothing unexpected. Sharp, facing away from the pool, glancing at Turner's laptop screen. Yeah, it looks all normal. I don't see why it shouldn't be safe to touch. Good. This should be pretty straightforward, then. Just grab a couple samples that we can analyze more carefully back in the lab. Any of you... Any of you... My apologies. Any of you want to check for more of the slips? What's his name? Gato. Gato hasn't done anything yet. He could do it. Alvarez turns away from the group to face Kato, who nods and walks to the edge of the pool, kneeling to get a better look at the surface. Alvarez to Sharp at a loud whisper. Sharp, you can't speak like that on duty. Sorry, sir, it's just... Well, you know how he is. I don't think he's spoken to me once, so it's kind of hard to remember his name. You'll get away with it now as a junior researcher on low-level anomalies. But be careful, all right? You're a good kid. Faint splashing can be heard in the background but the source is not visible on Avalres' camera. Sorry. It's fine. Kato's not that bad, really. He's just shy. Guess he's just not a people person, you know? 
Then again, neither are we. Sharp chuckles and Alvarez briefly smiles before turning back to the laptop's readout. Can I get any work advice? Haven't you been here for four years? So? I need it more. Alvarez, Turner, and Sharp continue to chat for several minutes. The conversation has been removed for clarity. Say, shouldn't Kato have found something by now? Alvarez turns back towards the pool. A dark shape is visible on the water's surface. Kato? Shit! Is that him? Oh my god. Wasn't anyone watching him? Didn't think we would need to! Sharp runs towards the edge of the pool, but is stopped by Alvarez. Don't get in the water. Turner, call site 392 and get a drone over here. They'll never make it in time. In time for... To save him? I think we're a bit beyond that point. The retrieval team from site 392 arrived shortly after and successfully recovered the body of researcher Victor Cato via remotely controlled drone. The following investigation concluded that Cato likely slipped on the wet floor while reaching for an instance of SCP-5794-1 and fell into the pool where he drowned. Testing to determine whether SCP-5794's effects contributed to the drowning was not approved. End log. Three weeks after Incident 5794-A, the first SCP-5794-1 instances relating to the death of researcher Victor Cato appeared within SCP-5794. They were addressed to SCP-5794's lead researcher, Dr. Hadrian Alvarez. Testing is currently approved on using researcher Victor Cato's previous experience in the Foundation. Testing is currently focused on using researcher Victor Cato's previous experience in the Foundation to provide further information on the anomaly via SCP-5794-1 SCP instances. Addendum Oh. 6th of July, 2017 In a test conducted by junior researcher Sabrina Sharp, it was determined that leaving paper slips similar to SCP-5794-1 in the water of SCP-5794 influenced the responses on instances of SCP-5794-1. Initial Testing Log Procedure Messages are delivered by drone to the main pool of SCP-5794. The pool is monitored for instances of SCP-5794-1, which are retrieved for analysis. Test 1 Date 7th of July, 2017 Foundation message. Are you receiving this message? From Victor Cato to Adrian Alvarez. Message. Yes. Who are you? Test 2. 8th of, 8th of July, 2017. Foundation message. This is Researcher Sharp of the SCP-5794 research team. From... Victor Cato, to Sabrina Sharp. Message. Oh, thank God, I was getting worried nobody would find my letters. Hello, Sharp. I heard what you said in the pool. Notes. Researcher Sharp became emotional after viewing the SCP-5794-1 instance, and requested another researcher complete the remaining testing for the week. SCP-5794 lead researcher Dr. Alvarez granted the request, citing Sharp's inexperience at the Foundation. Test 3, 8th of July, 2017. Foundation message. This is Alvarez. Can you tell us a bit more about SCP-5794? From Victor Cato to Adrian Alvarez. Message. It's dark in here. It's like one of those dimension things I read about. It smells like chlorine and it's wet. I can't really describe it in a way that makes sense. 
There's paper, stacks, stacks of paper. Sometimes what I made right makes it out to you, I guess. What do you need to know? Notes. SCP-5794 instance recovered on the 15th of July, 2017. Test 5. 16th of July. Date, 16th of July, 2017. Foundation message. This is Researcher Sharp. Research lead Alvarez is unavailable at the moment. We need the information for the SCP-5794 file. From Victor Cotto to Sabrina Sharp. Message. They meant it when they said the job never ends. Test 6. Six. Date. 16th of July, 2017. Foundation message. They did. From Victor Cotto to Sabrina Sharp. Message. I've already told you everything useful. You're going to stop talking to me now? Test 7. Date. 16th of July, 2017. Foundation message. Testing hasn't concluded yet. Message. That's not really an answer. Yes, I just wish someone would actually want to talk to me. Very lonely in here, you know? There's nothing but me in the water. But you didn't talk to me when I was alive, either. Test 8. Date. 17th of July, 2017. Foundation message. We're talking to you now. From Victor Cotto to Sabrina Sharp. Message. Only because you have to. Test 9. Date. 18th of July, 2017. Foundation message. None. From Victor Cotto to Sabrina Sharp. Message. If you talked to me earlier, wouldn't I still be alive? Addendum. 18th of July, 2017. Junior researcher Sabrina Sharp called a meeting for the SCP-5794 research team to discuss concerns surrounding the contents of SCP-5794-1 instances originating from researcher Victor Cotto's death. Testing involving SCP-5794-1 instances was temporarily halted. SCP-5794 research team meeting 18th of July, 2017. Date. 18th of July, 2017. Subject. SCP-5794 Research Team Meeting. Team Lead. H. Alvarez. Team Members. M. Turner. S. Sharp. X. Joe. Begin Log. SCP-5794-1? Yes, sir. I just have some concerns. I see. Haven't gotten a chance to see any of them yet. They logged anywhere? They're, um, recorded on the file, sir. Give me one second. Are you alright? You look a bit pale. I yeah. Just shaken up a bit from the messages, I think, which is why I called this meeting. Alvarez, skimming SCP-5794's file. If you want, we can transfer Joe onto message analysis and shift you onto something more lab side. Yeah, I can do it if you want. No, no, it's fine. I wouldn't want to bother you. You don't have to. It's not him, you know. The messages, they aren't from Kato. It's the anomaly speaking. How do you know that? I mean, it doesn't really sound like him. Do we even know how he sounded like? Alvarez shrugs. I did at least somewhat. Sometimes there's no way to know for sure, but you sleep better this way. Trust me. Want to believe it, Dr. Alvarez. It's just so hard when you're sitting there and reading them and... I know you're new, Sharp. You can't think like that here. No. No, I'm trying. It's just... Whenever I read one of the messages, it doesn't sound like an anomaly. It sounds like him. Thought he never spoke to you. You know what I mean. 
Sharp appears visibly distressed. I just can't stop thinking about how lonely he must have been, how lonely he still is. It's not your fault, Sharp. We all should have been... Darren or not now. Sharp, it's in your best interest not to dwell on it. The messages are from the anomaly. Keep logging them, but if this keeps bothering you, I will not hesitate to have you transferred. Sound good? All right. End the log. Notes. After the meeting concluded, testing on SCP-5794-1 instances was cleared to resume. Second testing log. Test 10. Foundation message. You previously stated that you were in an alternate dimension. Can you provide a further description? Can you see things, feel things, etc.? Date recovered. 20th of July, 2017. From Victor Cotto. To Sabrina Sharp. Message. Not really. Can't understand it without being it. The state of existence and location rolled up into one. The others are here too. The people that drowned before they called in our team, but they don't understand it. Without exposure to the anomalous, they just sort of float, if that makes sense. They aren't cognizant enough to speak, so it's still just me in the water. It's almost lonelier in a way to be so close to company. I think I'd be used to this by now, though. It's always sort of been just me. Wasn't popular in school, though I suspect that's not unusual for anyone that works here, and my parents never thought I was good enough. They still don't, because I couldn't tell them what I truly do, <laughs> did, for a living. My friends have always had someone better. Hope the foundation might be different. It wasn't. Test 10. Foundation message. I'm sorry. Sharp. Date recovered. 21st of July, 2017. From Victor Cato to Sabrina Sharp. Message. They say drowning is the worst way to die. I remember splashing, calling. And you guys just kept going and going, caught up in your own world until the water closed over my head. I'm still underwater. Even here, the water's still choking out my lungs and chlorine is still burning through my eyes. You can say your apologies now. Why didn't you look over? Why didn't you notice me? You're the reason I'm dead. Foundation message. What's done is done. Sharp. Date recovered. 22nd of July, 2017. From Victor Cato to Sabrina Sharp. Message. Is it? I may be gone, Sabrina, but you could still help me. I'm not an SCP. I'm not an anomaly. I know what they've been saying to you. I'm just using one to talk to you. The others don't understand. They will never understand. They didn't understand me either. But you do. You could join me here. I'll finally have my company. Your mistake cost me my life. Isn't it only fair that I get yours? Level 4 credentials required. Incident 5794-B. Credentials accepted. Video log. Incident 5794-B. Date. 1st of August, 2017. Subject, SCP-5794, Greencliff, Wisconsin. Team lead, H. Alvarez, off-site. Team members, M. Turner, off-site. X. Joe, off-site. S. Sharp. Begin log. Sharp stands in the observation area of SCP-5794. The remainder of the team is nominally assigned to observe from Site-392. But only Turner is actively tuned into the communication channel. Fifteen minutes elapse in silence while Sharp conducts a survey of the area for new instances of SCP-5794-1.
Nothing? Nothing in the last week. It's not unusual for anomalies to be sporadic. Plus, I think we're mostly done with active testing anyway. Might be time to ask Avaris to move to weekly checks. Yeah, maybe. Alright, I'm gonna head out to grab lunch then. You got a ride back to the site? Yeah. Cool. So you at the weekly, weekly debrief tomorrow then? Mm-hmm. Turner disconnects from the communication channel, leaving Sharp alone on the observation deck. Instead of heading for her des designated Foundation vehicle, Sharp remains in the observation area. She stares through the observation glass for several minutes before beginning to speak. This behavior was initially disregarded by the Foundation Automatic Monitoring Program, as Sharp was noted to have a history of talking to herself. didn't warn me about this, you know, when I signed up. I mean, I knew that people would die, but I didn't think about it, you know? Sharp pauses, fidgeting with her pen. Alvarez is right. I'm not cut out for this job. He is. He can make himself believe that it's the anomaly speaking. Maybe he's right. Maybe it is. We've been testing it for a month and nobody has a clue, but they're all just so... so cold, and I'm not. Sharp reaches down and retrieves various instances of SCP-5794-1 from her field backpack. While technically authorized to handle instances of SCP-5794-1, Sharp had not notified the rest of the research team that she had removed the instances from their storage locker. I can't do this. I can't do this job. Why did I take this job? Should have done something the first time in the pool. What could I have done? Suddenly, Sharp looks back over the water. An instance of uh, an SCP-5794-1 instance is visible, and Sharp quickly collects it and brings it back onto the observation deck. She inspects the instance, visibly distressed, and starts crying. Video quality is too low to determine the text, but later video analysis would detect a minor cognitohazardous effect originating from the instance. It is unknown if the effect was dampened by the video, but similar effects have not been observed in any other instance. I could have saved him the first time, couldn't I? Or have stopped me, but I could have fought him off, I could have jumped in. Even if the anomaly almost drowned me, these Kata wouldn't have had to have been alone. Sharp suddenly stops. A few seconds of rapid breathing are audible before the recording equipment is manually deactivated. End log. Notes. The sudden deactivation of the recording equipment was flagged as a breach of protocol by the equipment's automatic monitoring program. When Foundation personnel arrived at SCP-5794, approximately 15 minutes later, researcher Sabrina Sharp was found dead in the pool, presumably drowned. All remaining members of the SCP-5794 research team are facing disciplinary action for their negligence in both Incident 5794-A and Incident 5794-B. An investigation is ongoing. No further instances of SCP-5794-1 related to the death of researcher Victor Cato have been recovered. <laughs>